This man is a 71-year-old mechanical engineer who, like Bob Lazar, claims to have worked at Area 51 and to talk to us about certain... We received a disc uh, from extraterrestrials. This particular one that I had had to, uh, to work on or did work on was from the Kingman crash. And that was later on taken to uh, a Nevada test site where, at the time, I didn't know. Were there any alien bodies recovered? No bodies. There were four live, feeling good guys. Four live extraterrestrials? Four live, feeling good extraterrestrial type individuals, yes. And where were those four extraterrestrials taken? Initially, they were taken in New Mexico. And then several months later, they were taken to the Nevada, Nevada site. One of the things I worked on was a, a flying disc simulator to train pilots to, uh, to fly this strange-looking uh, strange craft designed for humans to fly, uh, not for any extraterrestrials to fly. His most fantastical claim was that he worked at Area 51 with an alien codenamed J-Rod for 16 years on this simulator project. J-Rod is a gray alien, about five foot four. His role was only as a, as, a, as a translator, scientific translator, that was all. If we wanted to put something in the place of what they had, he had to agree with it. I would have a question, uh, you know, and, and I would bring it up in my mind on just how I wanted to present it with him, and he'd already know that I had this question and he would already have the answer for me. And if he responded, it would be in my voice. And you wouldn't even open your lips. It is possible that he and uh, a few thousand others are working on a project, either here or elsewhere. Is this a few thousand other greys? A few thousand other greys, like himself. <laughs> 